Welcome back. Tornadoes and severe weather are fairly common for us in the Southern Plains, but there have been many questions left unanswered on whether the general trend of severe weather is shifting to the east, especially after the deadly tornadoes this week. And with that, Fox 44's meteorologist Haley Fitzpatrick, she gives us more information on the shift of Tornado Alley in this week's WeatherWise. Tornadoes have traditionally been a Midwest and Southern Plains phenomena, whether we see them out in a grassy field in Oklahoma or right here in Texas. The nickname Tornado Alley has become a common phrase used for much of our area, but new research studies may be pointing to the fact that Tornado Alley is potentially shifting to the east into what's known as Dixie Alley. Now, that if you don't know where Dixie Alley is, it's the name that describes portions of the Deep South, including Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Tennessee, Arkansas, and as well as Louisiana. Tornado Alley has been a long hot spot for the development of tornadoes. With the position of the jet stream and the influx of warm Gulf moisture ridden air, then we have that dry air coming off of Mexico to our southwest and the cool Canadian air from the northwest, we're in the perfect environment for tornado development. But recent studies have shown that tornado frequency in Dixie Alley is on the rise. Not only is the frequency increasing for tornado development in the Deep South, but the paramount for the strong and most definitely violent tornadoes is that of comparison to Tornado Alley. Studies show that while the annual count of tornadoes in Tornado Alley has been on a downward trend, the nationwide average of reported tornadoes has stayed the same. But how? This is due to the increased reports trending in the southeastern part of the United States. The answer is still unclear if the cause of the shift to Tornado Alley is due to climate change, but could in fact be leading up to that. Another reason why climate change is being blamed for Tornado Alley shifting eastward is that droughts in the desert southwest are becoming much worse, which are expanding that dry air and drought to the east. Now, in order for storms to form, three key ingredients are needed, moisture, uplift, and instability. With the push of dry air to the east and closer to Tornado Alley, we lose the moisture so we lose the ability for our atmosphere to create thunderstorms. Now, a couple more factors play into this, and I'll save that for part two coming up next Friday. But for now, I'm meteorologist Haley Fitzpatrick, Fox 44 Weather.